hi love welcome back in today's class we are making this beautiful bubble cardigan if you are new to the channel welcome back my love please consider staying and subscribing and if you're a returning subscriber thank you my love thank you darling for always coming back to us i wish you all my love a merry christmas and i wish this sweater gives you warmth this sweater is for a size medium to large. I'll walk you through the size guide so you can make your perfect fit. Let's get right into class. I'll be using 15 balls of 40 gram acrylic yarn, 100% acrylic, a 4.5 millimeter hook as scissors, stitch markers and tape measure you can use any acrylic yarn of your choice to begin with you will need your shoulder to shoulder measurement and your back measurement so for your shoulder to shoulder measurement that will be the front panel so we are going to work it in two two size so you are going to divide your shoulder to shoulder measurement into two and whatever that you get you make your slip knot and make your chains amount of chains this is an oversized sweater so i'm going to change 35 for my first part of the front panel after a 35 change you're going to make two you're going to add two extra chains and you're going to skip the two chains you just made and in your 35th stitch you're going to make a half double crochet and keep working half double crochets until the end of the row so at the end of the row you should have 36 half double crochet stitches because your chain two counts as a half double crochet so go ahead and make half double crochets until the end of the row and that should be the end of row one if you are making this for a size large consider chaining 40 and add extra two and if you are making for a size small consider chaining 32 at the end of the row you are going to chain two turn over your work and you are going to work half double crochets in each stitch across for row two you are going to work half double crochets in each stitch so at the end of the row again you should have 36 stitch no increase no decrease we're just working half double crochet rows At the end of the row you are going to chain two turn over your work and just as you did for row two you are going to repeat the same exact step you are going to work half double crochets across until the end of the row so this is basically a half double crochet rows keep repeating half double crochet rows until you have 45 rows and i'll meet you when i'm done with my complete rows depending on how you want your sweater length you can decide to add more rows or less rows this is according to your preference so keep working and i'll meet you when i'm done with my rows for the two panels this is the complete of my two front panels and this is how your work should be looking like this is all 45 rows and this is how it's looking like so we are going to be working the back panel the back panel is similar to the front panel but this time with the back panel you are not going to make the work into two it's all going to be in one row so i'll walk you through how to make your back panel with the back panel you are going to start with a chain of 80 35 plus 35 is 70 and an extra 10 chains and after your 80 chains you are going to skip two and go into each stitch with half double crochet until the end of the row and keep working your half double crochet rows until you have 43 rows just as we did for the front panel 
with the back panel we are not going to make 45 rows we are going to make 43 rows and i'll meet you and show you how to complete your two rows this is my 43 rows and this is how your work should be looking like at this point now to make your 44 and 45th stitch you start by counting 36 the same exact thing for your front panel you are making sure each part of your front panel is equal to your back panel so count 36 and put your stitch marker and count from the other side 36 and put your stitch marker so if you made 40 chains count 40 40 and the extra 10 would be in the middle if you made 50 is still the same the amount of chains you made for your front panel should be equal to when you are counting the back panel after you've placed your stitch marker go into each stitch with half double crochet until you are left with three stitches to the stitch marker then we make our first decrease now we make our first decrease We have four loops and yarn, yarn over and pull through all chain two turn over your work and you are going to make your half double crochets until the end of the row so we only decrease one time that is on the row 44 and row 45 would be half double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row when you get to the row you cut and fasten your yarn and work the same thing for the other parts you only decrease on row 44 at where the stitch marker is and the last row is no decrease row After you complete the last row, you are going to chain two, cut and fasten your yarn. And we are done with the front and back panel. Let's work on the arms. On the hand first you are going to chain you are going to make your slip knot and chain 20 we are going to first of all begin working the band of our wrist before the main hand so chain 20 and also this is individual preference if you want your band to be thinner then you chain fewer rows if you want it to more be more bigger then you add extra chains so chain 20 after your 20 chains you are going to make single crochet skip one and make single crochets in each rows until the end of the row
at the end of row one you are going to chain one and turn over your work for row two you are going to make single crochet back loop only in each stitch until the end of the row so keep making single crochet back loop only until the end of the row At the end of row two, you are going to chain two, one, sorry, turn over your work and keep making single crochet back loop only until the end of the row. So this is the pattern for the band of your wrist. So you are going to keep repeating this until you get, just measure it around your arms to see how tight or loose you want it and i'll meet you when i'm done so i'm going to go ahead and make seven inches seven to nine inches and i'll meet you when i'm done with my seven to nine inches band it should be looking like this i'm done with the first part and i made a total of 30 rows 28 to 30 rows this is the work complete and to start off working your hand for row one you are going to chain one now you are going to work on the bodice of your work so chain one and go into each space with a single crochet i know the coffee yarn is not easy to focus but just watch what i'm doing you see there's a space in each space and on top of each border you're not going to skip anything just in each space keep one single crochet until the end of the row At the end of the row you are going to chain two turn over your work and for row two you are going to make half double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row At the end of the row you are going to chain one turn your work turn your work and we are going to start making the puff stitch so make three single crochets in the first three stitches and in the fourth space you are going to make bubble stitch and this is how we make a bubble i've already made a video which a cable sweater so if you haven't seen that video please go and watch it's a detailed video to show you how to make bubble stitch so i'm going to make seven double crochet bubble and after your seventh you are going to pull through and to complete the bubble you're going to make a single crochet in the next space make two single crochets in the following and repeat your double crochet puff in the same stitch so make seven outstanding double crochet in a stitch and to complete your bubble stitch yarn over pull through all and make a single crochet to complete it then next stitch make a single crochet 
and make two single crochets and repeat the bubble again the pattern for row three is three single crochet a bubble stitch three single crochet a bubble stitch and at the end of the row you are going to increase a single crochet you're going to make two single crochet in the last stitch at the end regardless even if it ends with a puff you're going to add a single crochet so i'll walk you through that at the end of the row I'm at the end of the row and you're going to make your three single crochets so i have only two stitches remaining so meaning i'm going to place my last single crochet in the same space making a three single crochet so for row four you're going to chain two turn over your work and this row is a double crochet row so make double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row and at the end of the row you are going to make an increase so at the end of the row you are going to place two double crochets in the same stitch for row four I'm at the end of the row and you are going to make two double crochets this is your last stitch and you're going to make your increase row two double crochets so for row five you are going to chain one and just like we did for row three but this time you are going to start with two single crochets instead of three and you are going to make your bubble stitch in the next space after your bubble stitch you are going to make three single crochets in the following three stitches and a bubble stitch three single crochet a bubble stitch until the end of the row the difference between row three and row five is beginning stitches row three begins with three single crochet row five begins with two single crochet but it's the same exact thing so we are going to be alternating between these two rows so now that we started with two single crochets row row seven would be like row three and row nine would be row five so keep alternating this and keep making your increase at the end of each row and the the even rows would always be a double crochet increase so keep working this until you have three inches and we will stop increasing
and you can also decide to increase more and add more rows either than three inches this is how big or small or medium you want your arm to be if you want your arm to be puffy very big then keep adding your increase row until you have like five inches or your desired length or your desired preference and if you want it medium as my own then i only made three inches length of increase and yeah so we'll keep working on this and i'll meet you when i'm done with my three inches of increase rules if you haven't subscribed to the channel up until this point oh my love my darling this will be a very very heartwarming christmas gift for me please do and leave me a very nice nice christmas tree let me know we are all in this together so keep working this until the end of your increased rules how how many inches you want and i'll meet you when i'm done with my three inches of increase don't forget to always increase at the end of each row for both and keep alternating between row three and row five until the end of your increase row. This is the end of my increase rows and it measures three inches and to continue your work you are going to stop increase after having the length of your increase rule you are going to stop increase and now you are going to make normal rules so just this time you are not going to put two double crochets at the end or two single crochets at the end but the pattern still remains the same row three and row five keep alternating these two rows until you have your desired length of the arm i'm going to make 14 inches of normal rows and i'll meet you when i'm done with my 14 rows complete of normal rows so 14 plus 3 i would have 17 rows in total and i'll meet you when i'm done with my 17 or 14 normal rows and after the 14 normal rows it all depends how long you want your how long you want your cardigan so after the 14 normal rows you are going to make and you are going to start making an increase again so you make three inches of increase again to complete finally complete your arm so that is the increase rule so you can see so after making your normal rows go ahead and make another three inches of increase and i'll meet you when i'm done with my work complete this is my other part of the hands and yeah so go ahead and work your other one and after that you work the same exact thing for the other hands and i'll meet you when i'm done with my complete hand and we'll join it to uh the main work this is my work complete and now this is also individual preference you can decide to chain two cut and fasten your yarn or make a double crochet border around the hand so i would make a double crochet border two double crochets in each stage and the single crochet row i'm going to make one double crochet there you can decide to make your border use a single crochet whichever way you want i'm just making this border so when i'm stitching the hands together i would know i'm passing each stage is to one so my work would be neat so go ahead and make your borders until the beginning of the row not on the band and chain one cut and fasten your yarn and let's attach to the body now this is what your body of the work should be looking like i've just stitched placed everything together so you should place it this way decide where you want it to be your front and where you want it to be your back we are going to be joining the shoulders together and after that we are going to attach our work so we are going to attach the shoulder each stitch in each 
um each space until the end we attach all together and we are attaching it with a single crochet so prepare make your slip knot and insect your yarn and attach this with a single crochet so go in each space and make a single crochet go in each stage make a single crochet also you can decide to attach it with a dining needle or a slip stitch whichever way you prefer is totally fine so do this i'll attach this side and the other side and i'll meet you and we attach the arms of we attach the arms to the body for the work At the end of the row you are going to chain two or one sorry cut and fasten your yarn and let's attach the arm with the arm you are going to divide it into two with the front part facing you and that is the back part and you are going to take your stitch marker and mark to the middle at the joint where you just did the attach so that should be half into half divide your arms into half and now open it so you get the same exact length for each side turn your work and you are going to attach it with a single crochet or a slip stitch or dining needle whichever way you prefer at this point you can play with your work knowing the whole concept now so now i'm attaching it and in each half double crochet space i'm going to make two single crochets attaching it into two stitch two single crochets so keep attaching your work up until the end of the row and i'll meet you when you're done so at the end you should have something like this when you close your work and this is the right side of the work to attach the body you are going to turn your work to the wrong side so you can attach the arms and also the length the body of your work so turn your work to the wrong side and keep attaching at this point you can decide to do the arm first the hands first before the body or you do whichever way you prefer but don't cut the yarn just do one side before you cut and attach it to the arms or the body and work your single crochet or slip stitch or whichever way you want to attach it whichever comfortable way you're familiar with just do this i'll meet you when i'm done at the end you are going to chain two cut and fasten your yarn now turn to the hands and repeat the same exact thing however you want to attach it either by a single crochet slip stitches or a dining needle so do the same thing with the arms and up until the end of the row and i'll meet you when i'm done attaching my joining my hands together Your work should be looking like this at this point and we are going to now be working on the waistband and with the waistband we are going to repeat the same exact thing we did for the arms the wristband we are going to do the same thing but with a slight difference so you're going to be working the waistband before we would work our final band and we'll be done with our work
to begin the waistband you are going to attach your yarn and chain 10 again with this part how big or small you want your band is individual preference so after that you are going to skip one chain and make single crochets in each stitch until the end of the row so at the end you should be having nine single crochets stitches at the end of the row you are going to slip stitch two times onto the body of your work so slip stitch two times in the first stage and the second stage after the following stage after turn your work skip that two stitches you just made and inside the third stitch you are going to make your single crochet back loop only until the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to chain two so make single crochets until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you are going to chain two, sorry, one, turn your work and make single crochets back loop only in each stitch until the end of the row. And at the end of the row, you are going to make two slip stitches. So at the end of the row, you're going to make two slip stitches to connect your work. One and two turn your work skip those two two slip stitches sorry and make single crochets until the end of the row and at the end of the row you chain one and keep working single crochet back loop only and two stitches to join or to connect your work together so keep doing this all around all around your 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 sweater and i'll meet you when i'm done with mine completely so go around the sweater and i'll meet you when i'm done this is how your sweater should be looking like at this point and now you don't cut the yarn we are going to work around until the end of the row and you are going to repeat the same exact thing as we did for the waist of the sweater but this time we are going to chain 12 instead of 10 but also it's individual preference how big or small you want your band to be so go in each stitch skip one and go into each stitch with a single crochet and slip stitch two times at the end to connect your work you're going to repeat the same exact thing until the end of the row but when you get to the double crochet row the same thing you are going to you are going to slip stitch two times first inside the the half double crochet space and second slip stitch will be in the middle border in between the half double crochet space the line you're going to put your next slip stitch there and you're going to work all along until the end of the row so let me walk you through how to work your half double crochet slip stitches so that is the border and you are going to work back and forth until your roll is complete and that is all for your work 
<laughs> if you enjoyed this video my love my darling my sweetheart please consider subscribing and leave us a heart comment if you've made it up to the end of this video or up to the point of this video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much i i really truly appreciate you darling and i wish you all a merry christmas and a happy new year stay blessed stay hydrated and yeah keep coming back to us and let us know what you think of our videos and yeah if you haven't subscribed please do because a lot of you all are watching our videos without subscribing please help us grow together until we meet next week or next time is bye bye this is the outcome of our sweater so beautiful and i wish you make it as perfect as this bye bye